Hello, I'm Atuba Jordan. Now today is Friday. Praise God. And, and listen, we, we, by the help of God, I, have, I need to finalize this withdrawing from your heavenly account. Now, I believe everything I've been sharing with you is making sense. Praise God. You know, yesterday I showed you two testimonies to prove that your solution is not far away from you. Now, listen to me. I'll give you one more testimony. Now, that's, this, this is personal. I not long ago, just last week, Thursday. Now, listen, I came back home and when I entered the house, I saw my wife sitting and like, what's the matter? I said, there's no water in the house. I said, what do you mean no water? I said, there's no water. No water in the tank. I said, why didn't you pump water? Because we have a borehole. I said, the borehole is not working. I'm like, really? You know? So I got in, changed, came out. I mean, there was no drop of water. And this was, I came back about 9 p.m. in the night. So I changed, got my tools. You know, listen, you must have a toolbox in your house. Where is God? I learned some of these things. So I got my, I tested everything. And then I found where the problem was. The pump, the pump of the, the borehole had an issue. I'm like, wow. I mean, the switch now, not the borehole pump itself, the switch had an issue, the capacitor was blown. I'm like, whoa. By the time I sorted, found this out, it was already 10 p.m. in the night. <clears throat> so I began to ask, I said, Lord, what do we do now? Because in a, you know, when you're used to having water at home, you don't even have containers where you store, you know, water. We, we don't have, because, I mean, if, if the water board doesn't work, there's a borehole to back it up. And i like, Lord, what do I do? I called my uh, technicians, I'm like, look, I need to get, now I've seen the problem, the capacitor. I said, I need to get a capacitor this night. Please call everyone you know that sells these things. Paradventure, someone is in his shop this night, <laughs> praise God. Or someone has it at home, something. He called me back, I said, no one. Everybody is closed. He said, can we do it first thing tomorrow? I said, my children need to go to school in the morning. I need water tonight. You know. So in all this thing, I was asking them, I said, Lord, what do I do now? So I said, for what I gain, you're asking the Lord. I ask the Lord for everything. You know why? So I don't make a mistake in life. Not out of fear, but out of confidence because he gave me his word that I am with you. I will never forsake you. So I'm just taking advantage of that. So he is with me. He was with me when I was looking for the solution. And I just opened that box and I, oh, ah, this is the problem. Praise God. And then I came back in. I told my wife, wow, we need to get water. So what do we have? So we got this. We were able to get two paint buckets, or, you know, with, with cover. Because I need to drive out to look for water. I said, well, like, where do you get water? I said, oh, we have, we have a friend just two streets from us. And that's the name, that, that's the, what dropped him. I had go there. So I told her, okay, I'll go there. So we started calling her. She wasn't picking. Called her over five times. She didn't pick her call. And then I told her, you know what? I'm going to go there. And I'm going to knock until they wake up if they're sleeping. Because my wife said, maybe they're sleeping. I said, no, I'll go there. And I, and I got there. They were awake. I said, ah, I came to look for water. And what happened to your water? I said, my borehole, you know, explain everything. And then I thought, say, you guys have borehole. I said, yeah. Okay, can I open your switch, use your capacitor, go pump my water? And then her brother spoke up. I said, hey, no, no, there is a spare capacitor in this house. Like, really? And then we found a spare capacitor. Guess what? That capacitor, they got it about four years ago. They had an issue. They thought it was the capacitor. They bought a new one and then it wasn't the capacitor. So they just kept it there in the store for years. We found it. I took it, came back home, connected it, and my ball who started working. So this was about 10, 30 in the night already. Praise God. Now, we found our solution. Hey, guess what? It wasn't far from us. Praise God. So this is one more witness I'm adding to the two I shared with you yesterday. So I showed you two in the word and I showed you one personal testimony. This is not long ago. This is just last week, Thursday. What am I telling you? God is still doing the same thing. The same way he opened Abraham's eyes, the same way he opened Haggai's eyes, the same way he opened my eyes to see where my solution is. 
That's the same thing with everything about us. Never stranded in life. Never. Never. Praise God. Why? Because he will tell us what to do. That's the reason he is with you. That's the reason he said he will never forsake you. Praise God. So, when you, when you have this settled in your heart, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask him his wisdom concerning what this, this thing I need. I'm going to ask him his wisdom and he's going to answer me. Two, I'm aware. You know, sometimes I pray like that. I talk to the Lord. I say, Lord, I'm aware this thing is somewhere around. I'm aware there's a solution for this thing. Now, someone else may have given up. Oh, it's too late. You know, there is not. Be careful of the words that you utter. I didn't believe it was too late. I believe that there must be an opening somewhere. Because before we got to this place that the borehole packed up and then there is no water in the house, God knew. And you, you need to be conscious of the presence of angels around you. You need to be conscious of the presence of the Lord himself in your life. So how is he going to let, let, let me be stranded tonight? No way. <laughs> and now that was a settled thing in my heart. And that's what you need to settle in your heart also. He loves you. So that thing you need, why won't he give it to you? Jesus said, fear not, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Now when he said give you the kingdom, what does he mean? It is everything I'm talking to you about. Give you things the kingdom way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give you things the kingdom way. It is your father's good pleasure. Let me tell you how things of the kingdom way comes. It comes with a testimony. You know, you know when, when they gave us the capacity, I started laughing. And then they said, ah, Pastor, it's you now. It's normal. <laughs> it's God. Then God will always show up like this. And it's the truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you ask him like that. And your heart, you are confident. See, remember what James said. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let that man not think that he will receive anything from the Lord. Why? When your heart is unstable. That's why I've been sharing all these things I'm telling you to keep your heart and mind stable. You ask God for something, you are confident he's going to give you that thing. Be confident. Don't ask God today and start thinking, eh, should I buy it or should I not buy it? If you need to, you know, because sometimes, you, even though you have the money to buy something, still remember to withdraw it from heaven. So sometimes, you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I, I need to get this. You know? And then you begin to pray about it and, and trust in the Lord. And one day the Lord will say, go ahead and buy it. Now, you may have the money to buy it. So what? You go ahead and buy it. But I will tell you one thing. Because he said, go ahead and buy it. Guess what? He will refund you that money. Does he need to refund you? Yes. Oh, yes. You don't understand. That is how, that is how we live a life that we can never be broke. Why? Because everything that leaves us is a seed. How is it a seed? Because the word of the Lord is what rules our life. See? So whatever you need to do. When we pay bills, we ask the mind of God concerning it. I say, Lord, it's time for this bill. When should we pay it? You don't know. It's smart. You don't know what we are doing. We are making withdrawals. Because the moment the word of the Lord comes for it, Heaven responds. The money is made available. Even if we have the money and we use it for that purpose, there must be a replacement. I've had, I've had times where, okay, the Lord will say, okay, do this. Okay, thank you, sir. I'll do it. I'll do it now. And then while I'm going ahead to do it, I'll just receive a lot on my phone. I'll just start smiling. So I'll show him and say, guess what? See? See? Why? Because the word of the Lord came for it. And this is the secret of every withdrawal you need to make. If you miss this, you miss everything. What is the secret? Wait for the word of the Lord to come consigning that thing. The moment God speaks, he may speak to you in your dream. He may speak to you in that still voice. He may speak. It's not about how he speaks. It's you knowing 
that his word has come. Now, how will you know his word has come? When you are looking for it. When you are looking for it. Sometimes there's just a conviction in your heart that this thing is now. And then you get up to do that thing. You will see grace available. Praise. You want to buy something? You say, Lord, I'm thinking of buying. You know, someone will be thinking, if you're living your life like that, man, that means you're going to be slow in a lot of things. So you know why you're thinking that way? Because in your mind, you are thinking God is too slow. But let me tell you this. In the beginning, when you start practicing these things, it may look slow. But see, you stay on it, you stay on it, you get to the point where I'm telling you this truth. I'm a witness to this. As soon as you are thinking it, God is giving you the answer. You know, sometimes you go say, Lord, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. It happens to us a lot of times. You know, my wife and I will say, oh, let's pray concerning this thing. And I will go on our knees. And what on our knees? We've not even opened our mouths to pray. What on our knees? Like, I think I've heard God consigning it. He said, what did the Lord say we should do? He said, we should do this. Oh, okay. We'll go ahead and do it. And let me tell you, when it comes to spending money, listen to me, and you must know this, settle it in your heart. The moment God tells you, do this, even if it is the last money that you have, obey him. Obey him. You don't realize, that's the one thing you've not realized. You don't realize that your bill paying, you paying bills for your house, can be a seed that you're sowing. It's actually a seed, not even can be, it's a seed. What is the seed? The seed is the word. The seed is the word. That's why I'm telling you, wait for the word of God to come. And listen, God is the owner of time. He knows when you're under pressure. He knows when you need to do something now, now. He knows. So he's not going to delay you. He knows. But you see, will you calm down? This is where people lose their blessing. Calm down and let him speak to you. Calm down and let him instruct you. Let him, don't be under pressure. That's why we sing that song, Take your troubles to the Lord and do what? Leave it there. See? Or, or, or that hymn, All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. When you take it to Him, drop it there. Take your heart away from it. Let Him answer you. And you will see the answer. Let me tell you the truth. What I'm sharing with you is what we are living. I can tell you countless and countless of testimonies. Praise God. But why am I sharing these things with you? So you also may come into the same fellowship and enjoy these things that I'm talking about. Stay on it. It works. We draw from your heavenly account. I've shown you how. We draw, begin to withdraw from it, praise God. And begin to live that life of blessing and kingdom finances is passing through your hands. What have I been saying to you all this while? Ask God concerning your givings. Ask God concerning your tithes. Ask God concerning your bills. Ask God concerning the things that you need. In all these things, wait for his voice. Wait for his word to come to you. If he has not spoken yet, the budget has not been released. But the moment he speaks, heaven has released the budget concerning that matter. I'll tell you the truth, even if you don't have a dime, but you have heard the voice of God, you can go ahead and begin to negotiate. As you go, he will open your eyes to that supply. Or he will open your eyes to the favor that he has presented there. There are times God will tell you, go and get that thing. And you get there, you realize you didn't need to buy it. And you realize the seller is someone who feels in debt. I remember one time I, I had gone to, you know, you know, sometimes as, as little as, ah, I pray you understand. I, I usually tell my wife, I, I, I know in my heart when we need to change uh, our gas, you know, gas, cooking gas now. Because sometimes I'll just be like, Lord, say, go get, go get the second cylinder. Go get, go fill the second cylinder. Oh, thank you, Lord. And I hope oh, we need to fill that cylinder. 
I remember going one time, you know, I went to some, I went somewhere, and then the guy looked at me, looked at me, I know you. I said, okay, well. And I said, hey, you wrote a book about tithing. I said, I said yes, now I remember. And guess what? He said, he told me how that book blessed his life. And then the next thing he said, you know what? This is on me. <laughs> Praise God. And I, oh, God bless you. Just like that. You've got favor all around you. And you must begin to enjoy it today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release you into a life of favor. I release you into a life of results. I release you into a life of answers. As soon as you get to a place of need, I pray for you right now that the Lord will open your eyes and understanding to the provision that he has made for every need. Receive that as a blessing right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'll see you next week, Monday. Bye-bye.